Hello, this is Borna from Borna.tv, and today I want to give my first impressions of Borderlands 3. I was given this key from uh, from 2K, and I appreciate them for providing the key. I did not pay for this out of my pocket. Again, disclaimer, I was given this key. Um, this game is a sequel to Borderlands 1 and Borderlands 2, which were the birth of the shooter, looter shooter genre, and uh, it presented a whole new addictive flair and flavor to what we like to play first person shooters you know prior to games like this we were addicted to games like call of duty where you grinded out different types of unlocks and prestiges and stuff but now a game like borderlands came around where you grinded guns and stats and you know the whole rpg thing you got from diablo was applied to a first person shooter so borderlands 3 has been a long time coming it's been six almost six years since the previous borderlands and a lot of people have been waiting for a long time so there's a lot of hype around the game and a lot of controversy too but we're going to be focusing on the game itself so let's start with the bad i always like to start with the bad because i, I feel like my videos are better when i do that your favorite reviewer probably doesn't do that but i do anyway the bad the first thing and the, probably the, the the biggest sore thumb I think everybody can agree to this. If they don't agree with it, you know, I just I just look at them and go, what were you thinking? The map. The map is absolutely atrocious. Here's a map in a game which rotates around the player by default on both the mini map and the full blown map. Now, you may think, well, boy, that's probably not too bad. Well, when you play the game, I think you'll probably see what I'm talking about. They give you the option to lock the map due north on the mini map, which helps, but it's zoomed in so far that you can't see anything. So you constantly, while playing a game and trying to complete quests, you constantly have to go to the bigger map. Now the problem with the big map is that it constantly rotates to the direction that you're looking. So if you're trying to complete a quest and you don't know where you're going, which is going to be the case if this is your first time playing the game, you're not going to know where you're going. So it's hard to orient yourself and to decide which way to go and which way the waypoint is and what the landscape is doing. It just makes it a lot more difficult. Give us the option to orient the map to stay due north. That's a simple fix. I don't understand why they didn't do that. They have to fix this. This is the biggest issue when going through the game the first time. I actually got very, very frustrated questing with this because I was... You know, I'd go a little bit and the mini map, you know, I could I could lock that due north, but I couldn't couldn't see beyond a certain amount of, of the map. And so <laughs> I would constantly bring open this other map and then I'd have to reorient myself like, all right, where is this landmark? Where is this landmark? It was a lot of extra work and just bad design, really, really bad design on the map. And I, I, I think that's 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 going to work against them in a lot of different ways for new people to the series. And people who are who are familiar with the series it is really bad it's the number one thing every time somebody asks me about borderlands and they go wonder what was the thing you hated the most and what was the the, the worst thing i'm going to say the map every single time it is so awful the next thing is something that's kind of carried over from uh borderlands 1 and borderlands 2 and you're probably going to guess what i'm going to say it is the ui the user interface is still just horrible it is terrible it is it's like they haven't learned how to to take a console based interface and bring it over to PC and effectively, you know, make it usable. In 2019, I find that hard to just fathom. They, Bethesda and a couple other people just don't know how to do that. I don't get it. This is really, really weird. This is I guess it's just a very old school mentality, stubbornness. But the UI is just still bad. It, there's there's so many parts of it that i just wish would go away like hitting tab to do things just is wrong tab to go from the next screen to the next or to the previous screen escape does doesn't do what you think it should do you got buttons like z and c to go to different screens and uh, the right click and left click don't do what you think they'll do and a lot of these you user interfaces it's just something that's carried over from borderlands 2 and borderlands 1 that you just can't fix so the ui very very bad the next bad part about this is performance. Performance is bad. It is very, very bad. Uh, and I, I, I'm going to say it like this because it just like every PC release that comes out, 
on every PC game that I can remember, especially AAA, you're going to have varying levels of performance problems. I didn't have any performance problems on my machine, but I have a very high-end machine. Uh, Mid-tier, low-tier machines were reporting a lot of stuttering and a lot of performance problems. So that's that was kind of normal on PC. So I think PC needs additional optimization. However, on console, it was un, it was just unacceptable. Uh, you had to run these game, you had to run this game in performance mode in order to get some decent frames. And even then, if you went to split screen, it was just unplayable. Uh, and I, I'm going on other reports, not mine myself, because I don't have I don't have the console version. So the performance is definitely bad on consoles, especially. But PC definitely can use additional optimizations for certain configurations on mid and low tier. And like I said, it, it, some people had no issues like myself and others had a lots, lots of issues. So performance is a problem as well. Cloud save. Well, cloud save is a new feature that came with the Epic Games Store. Uh, I say a new feature because they just added it with games like Rebel Galaxy Outlaw, which didn't have any issue with cloud saves. But apparently, uh, Borderlands is struggling with it a little bit. Uh, people were losing their entire saves, reportedly. Now, I didn't confirm this with anybody I know personally, or I didn't experience it myself, but it's enough to make you go, wow, that's a possibility. I don't want that to happen to me. I've had this happen with other Steam games in the past where cloud saves would be corrupted. Um, I'm trying to think of the, the latest game because I had I had turned cloud saves off because they were corrupting. I think it was Thief. I think that was the game. I'm, I'm trying to think of the name of it, but I think it was Thief. One of the games had some cloud save problems and I turned off cloud saves. And it's something that creeps up every now and then, but it shouldn't be very common. Um, I haven't seen widespread reports of this, but this is such a major thing that when it does happen, it can be it can be really, 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 really bad. The most recent bug, which I heard of as early as today, is that people were losing items in their bank. So I don't think that's a specific cloud based problem. I think that's a Borderlands 3 problem, which is probably further exacerbated by how they're using cloud saves just specific parts of your inventory are missing i think that's a game bug that needs to be addressed i think they need to work closer with epic to figure out what's going on if it is related to cloud saves so now let's talk about the good things the good things in borderlands 3 number one the quests the quests feel very 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 good they feel a lot better designed than they did in borderlands 2 and in borderlands 1. i remember especially in borderlands 1 some of the quest designs you groaned when you had to do some of the things it was just i don't want to go and do all that and the, the mechanics that they put in the game didn't feel satisfying and it felt like a chore it was improved a little bit in borderlands 2 but i just in my last playthrough of borderlands 2 i, I encountered several quests that i just didn't want to do i was like i don't feel like no that just it just seems clunky but everything seems smoother it seems a little bit easier to do and you can just coast through the story without having to worry about that which means that they actually put some thought into the quest design. I think they simplified a lot of the quests, which made it easier to go through the story, and that's always a great thing. The next thing are the guns. The guns feel awesome uh, in terms of gunplay, in terms of aiming, in terms of a variety of recoil and non-recoil options, and and just Borderlands has always been known for the gun design and just gun wackiness, and they've added so many great features to make the guns actually feel good when you're firing them. In a looter shooter like this, that's very important. And on top of the guns feels, the movement feels great as well. So you can jump around, do air shotgun shots, and it just feels very fluid and very good. And I think Borderlands 2 probably had one of the biggest improvements in this area. And they've kind of brought that over to Borderlands 3 and even improved it a little bit more. I think the jump from one to two was a lot better than the jump from two to three, but there's only so much you can do in this area. Uh, they kept the Borderlands humor intact. Um, the, 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 the very slapstick-like humor, very low-hanging fruit type of jokes, they definitely kept that in there, and it made you chuckle. It was one, it's one of those chuckle games. It's just like, oh, gosh, ha, 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 You know, it's a chuckle game, and um, not, not a belly laugh, laugh out loud type of game, but it is definitely sort of that, that toilet potty humor that, that makes you chuckle. And they kept that intact. So if you, if you appreciate the humor of Borderlands 1 and 2, you, you'll be happy to know that Borderlands 3 maintains that type of humor. Uh, the end game feels really, really fleshed out. And I think this is a very important thing because Borderlands is all about end game. 
you go through the story, you know, you go through the quest, you go through all these things to get to the point to where you need to farm and min max these awesome pool of guns. There's so many guns and so many builds that you can do. And they've added a mayhem one through three in true vault hunter and true vault hunter mode. Um, and it is very, 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 very good. Um, mayhem apply some modifiers very similar to what you see in games like path of exile when you do maps uh you know enemies do more elemental damage you do less damage this type of thing and as a reward you get more loot you get better xp etc etc uh same is true for true vault hunter mode it is a new game plus type of a deal and uh essentially the monsters just get better and better um I think this is going to add a lot of life to the game until we get our first set of DLC, which is going to be as soon as, as Halloween. I hear that, is, that they're working on a Halloween event. This is going to give players a lot to do because there's so many guns, so many variations, and they've mixed it up quite a bit. Um, now, let's talk about the story. The story is mediocre at best. I put it under good because it was what I expected. The story was Borderlands. It wasn't the greatest story ever. Um, and I, I, I want to qualify this by saying that it's a looter shooter. And I can't think of any other looter shooter where I actually cared about the story. Division 2, Warframe, even Destiny. I, they're very forgettable stories. I don't care about them. Um, and the story in Borderlands 1 and the story in Borderlands 2 are very, very forgettable. We remember some of the memorable characters, but the story itself, we're opening a vault, pretty much. And we're, we're looking for loot. That's it. So... The story is mediocre at best. I wouldn't expect the, the best story in a game. Um, and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of quality of life improvements. Quality of life is the name of Borderlands 3. It's like they took Borderlands 2 and they just wanted to polish it to death. All right. They really, really paid attention to a lot of detail, a lot of voiceovers, lines, and, and just little, t it's just a lot of little things that add up to a great experience the gun stats the variety you can combine parts from different manufacturers to mix and match builds it is a very 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 big quality of life update to the borderlands series which is why my overall opinion if you want to get to the to the overall the tldr the tldw too long didn't watch overall it is the best borderlands to date it is better than two it's better than one Borderlands 3 is the best Borderlands to date. Uh, if you want to compare it to other games like Division, if you want to compare it to Warframe, you want to compare it to Destiny, other looter shooters, it becomes a little bit more complicated. I, and I'd rather not focus on that until I do a lot more endgame. I've just started doing endgame. I'm not even level 50 yet. I got into Mayhem 1, did some stuff. I started True Vault Hunter mode. I've seen some footage and I've seen some people do some stuff with Mayhem and I've seen the mixture of the stats and the mixture of the of the modifier. So I, I'm aware of how they work, but I haven't played it myself. So I really feel like I can't really compare Borderlands 3 to these other shooters just yet, but I definitely feel like I can compare it to Borderlands 2 and Borderlands 1 based on my experience with those games. It is the best Borderlands game to date. So if you're on the fence and if you like Borderlands, get the game this is easy it's not even hard to to uh to, to 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 even say anything otherwise it's a very easy recommend for borderlands 3 this is one from one tv this is my first impressions i may put up another video following this uh talking about more mayhem and true vault hunter mode tvhm and how that all plays out but man it's a good game it's a good borderlands game and i think you'll enjoy it take care have a good day